Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome to another exciting and everything and amazing propaganda cast with me, your host, Imperial Dane, the one, the only master of propaganda, off you to a 1v1 own. Bar, oh, Bukash, actually. And this Bukash? Yeah, it is Bukash. In the north, it is uh, Ozar the Vile, finding here for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland, the 21st Panzer Division with assault support, encirclement, and Jägerama. In the south, it is. Hireling, fighting for the British Army, the Commonwealth, here with the 7th Armoured Division, the Desert Rats, featuring Lend-Lease Assault with Mortar Teams, Assault Sections, the M10 Achilles self-propelled anti-tank gun, because the British did not operate with a tank destroyer as a concept, doctrinally, Mort of regular half-tax and strafing support, we got a gun and for two set of files of the Vile versus double section assault section start for Hiling. And as always, a big hearty thanks to my patron supporters. Without them, this episode and so many else might be possible. So big thanks to all those. Other people can join the ranks by Patreon Patreon or they can donate by PayPal. Links in the description. Finding, commenting, liking, sharing, subscribing helps me out a bunch as well. So off to the races we are here. MG42 can just move straight through the center here outside of the Vile. Looking secure terrain there. Leaving just the Pioneers to secure the west side here. Meanwhile, center East, Hiling moves towards their section, being slightly cautious around the gunners, not because it's concerned about the gunners themselves, but obviously concerned about the machine gun that could be hanging right behind the discoveries here in the east instead. Assault section basically following up here, not going to charge those in first, probably looking for the right time to then sneak in them and sort of hit the Germans right where it hurts there with their Sten guns. Sectioning falls there. Flanking against the Germans there. Exactly, they was looking to do with the assault section. Second grenade squad there for Isles of the Vile. Another assault section here for Hiling. Machine in there completely out That's going to have to retreat there, I think. I mean, he could try and get into position from the assault section, hotly pursuing with the Sten guns and the other sections. That's a complete wash here for Isles of the Vile. And just retreating there, I think, is a much wiser decision or rule. Feels bad, but it's not going to feel as bad as he losing the MD4 too early on to the British, so best to just retreat there. Moving towards the car point defense, here's of course Hiling sending his forces there, right there for the next move here, assault section leading the way as the section move up to car up against the Canadian here, back here, troops need to get going back onto the front line here as fast as possible, assault section charging the Pioneers, MP4 to the Sten guns, sadly the Pioneers are not quite to the same standards, are trained to the same standards of the assault section there, third Canadian squad there for House of the Vile, Car for them being hit, enemy foot in the assault section, but with the heavy cover there, they are quickly not suppressed, then quickly, more importantly, pulling off to the next point here. So, bit of a wreck, uh, uh, hunt there for us of the Vile in the south here, in the south here, section ground the munition point here, away from us of the Vile. Listening about the MU42 trying to hunt down the Englishmen there. Section they low on health and numbers could be an easy target for a few Grenadiers here. Assaults in again. Nope. He's trying to get the best use of the train here to make it difficult for us the Vile to just hunt it down east. And they're going to pop into the building and flank behind the MU42 here. And these take on these Pioneers for the section there. And there goes second assault section arrives here. It's first other one they go pops through the building up behind us the Vile's machine gun forcing another retreat again here. Grenadiers are now arriving to try and deal with this S escalation of British assault tactics here as the gunners are being absolutely mauled here by the Sten gun wielding sections. Folks, I'm down there as so they push forward. Down to four men there. Could become three. There we go. Gunners squad being pushed down again. They're just absolutely being overwhelmed by the sheer amount of lead here that Harling's assault sections are unleashing upon the gunners. Just really rough start here for Alsa the Vile as Harling is just going all in here. Machine gun forwards here, back hit, trip reinforcing. And we got encirclement here for House of the Vile, two thumbs up. Featuring ambush training, stormtroopers, break supply line, breakthrough, and close the pocket. That set, he's stepping in for a rough start. Right now, Harling's already got the advantage there, could easily, I think, leverage further, maybe with a fast armored car, or some other very nasty things here for House of the Vile to deal with. He could add, like, an officer. To further boost his assault capabilities here. We shall have to, of course, what Harling chooses to do, but he's going to first get that fuel pump neutral, further slowing down Ars the Vile's economy here. Making much harder for him to catch up with the Harling. It's a really strong start here for the British. Ground these some mission point back here with the German Army Pioneer. Assault section machine gun with a stun gun. Fun fact about the British and sub machine guns, but they're actually very light to the whole. Ah, oh, sub machine guns actually kind of good. In fact, it was kind of, you know, by the time of World War II, they sort of like stood then realized. Hang on, we don't have any of these things at all. 
and they tried initially importing Thompsons, but that was actually too expensive for them. So the real sort of first British submachine gun, the Lanchester, was actually just a copy of the German MP28 submachine gun. And then they sort of started developing the Sten gun. So little fun fact there are the British Army in submachine guns. Yeah, armored cars have possibly been prepared here for hiling. It's got them requisitioned. Just need a bit of manpower. That's going to further that pressure tiles of the VAR. We do get a weapon against... Oh, Tribe didn't quite manage it. Got the center there with the Indy 42. I'd like to make a nice company of the Alza. Well, probably a pack forward here. Gun is right about the section in the end. Western Point can see these men to like break out of the initial stranglehold here. Unleashed by hiling. Got sappers on the way. And there we go. We got the AC Mark III armored car here. And that's going to prove to be a bit of a header here for us. And will, I think, very likely force a pack forward here in the end. He could, of course, end in a Stormtrooper squad first, but that would leave him certainly unable to deal with the armored car. And there you go. Massive infantry assault force in the West by Howling. Two assault section and a regular section is going to be a lot of Englishmen. He's, just up. He's going for the armored car. There's the British. You always need to be careful about the 2 to 2 as the AC can actually hit faster than it. As you can see, there's about to do there. And even that's like if you're ahead, it can still hit really, really fast. Maybe by the time you actually 2 to 2, the AC can be ahead of it and actually shut it down pretty fast. So definitely a bit more of a thing you have to be cautious about. So the Germans is going for the 2 to 2 against the British. I mean, most players aren't going for as much as they used to, but it's still something to keep in mind. And again, heading the fuel point here in the car point here. Hiling, not going for like, you know, head-on destruction of ourselves by forces, just to like steadily gain the advantage by disrupting resources, economy, and that way gaining an advantage. So thumbs up to the Hiling. Um, fairly certain now that the Val is not quite sharing that sentiment as the match is currently ongoing. Assault section and force there, again popping to the building here, causing further problems there for of the Val. When East was there, we got the AC Mark III out here. Assault section pushed out in the open, and we do get a Stormtrooper squad here for House of the Vile, adding MP40s. That said, definitely not a bad idea to get one. They are quite powerful, and particularly as the British have found them to be quite handy. That said, it further delays the arrival of an anti tank weapon to help deal with the AC Mark III, which is going to be you know, a significant problem for them. There you go. Straight in there. Go down to, well, well, less than half of already. Gets lucky. That is. Now, so the Vile gets lucky and then is able to pan to pass the AC. Hit the car on his release, that way disrupt Hiling's economy a bit. Also draws attention away from the front line and from out of the Vile zone territories. Not a bad idea there. Note, he could have course gone here for the fuel point by going for the calf point. He does more quickly just cut off the resources he images more briefly. Medics on the way there for Hiling to help provide more healing for his troops. Back here, troop enforcing, healing. And I imagine repairing that armored car, but as the Val will need a pack 40 unless he's planning to say equip a Stormtrooper with a Pantra Shrek. Or maybe go for a Pantra Squad with Pantra Shreks, but that seems a bit unlikely under the current circumstances. Still considering as the Val has next to no munitions. Another big push here by Hyling and the British Army, the 7th Armored, looking to launch another furious assault against the German positions. Imagine we're soon missing Thompson C for the assault sections. There we go. Got one squad upgraded just as I point that out. Pen down sappers. And the AC of course just charges ahead. There's no immediate threat to it. Grab the eastern point there. Can use ambushing up. Thumbs up the towers of the violent. In fact, he's applying ambush camouflage to as many units as he can. Of course, got the stormtroops hiding out there. And there you go. Pack 45 of the violent in the southeast. Gun is right by the assault sections. Three kills, close veteran one. Storms are caught here by the armored car in the sections. And the fuel point is once more being threatened here, being cut off by Ireland. So, as the Val there continues to have a bit of an uphill fight against the British so far. Pack 40 there, halfway done. He's seeming in the country that could try and Pantafaust it. That said, Highland there weaves it out of range of the Pantafaust. And we got the assault section up here. The Thompsons with the Sten guns mowing down those Gundies. Section in trouble as well. Pack 40 almost on the foul start. Right around the corner. And they of course need to get to the front line as well. Funny is they're almost being shredded by the assault section. Six kills close to Vetsony 2 here. Section suppressed. Got the Western fuel pump as well. He meaning Harling is getting a lot of fuel at this rate. He could actually take up pretty fast. I'm getting moving for tanks in the near future. There you go. White Fossil's grenade off against Stormtroopers. Slung down there. A counter attack here though. Looks like Lewis got a bit on it himself. This stuff won't, you know, be toxic. Oh, uh, don't worry, Lewis. Don't worry. 
Dips on his tea ration. I heard that. And you fall to the section that's suppressing it. Armor car falling back. Storms reinforcing healing, at least healing. Not so much reinforcement going on there as of yet. So really strong study for the bitches still. I mean, 10 men is of near unbridled control of the map here. Pack forward and fought the machine wing as well there. Hunting down the British armored car there. Good hit from the Pack 40. Fun fact about the AC map 3 was actually made up of a variety of parts, including parts from the, I believe it was the Valentine tank, or was it the Matilda tank? But certainly some of the British infantry tanks were actually used to make up this armored car, making it actually a pretty heavy armored car too. Morton plays next for Harding, going to further the air pressure there to also the van with some artillery there. Vickers machine gun flying up here for Harling. Not a bad idea there. Still, as the Val is prone to be a spirited commander here and pushes back despite all of these initial well, troubles and headaches there. Well, let's see what follows with next. Another pack 40 was concerned about British armor, which honestly, I'd be. He could also go for another Stormtrooper squad, a mortar, more machine guns. I mean, there's certainly quite a few choices here for Alsar. You could also consider sneaking a Panzer Grenadier squad instead of Stormtroopers. We shall, of course, see what he goes for. Western point him grab with the Grenadier. More ambush camouflage there. Very good. Thumbs up to that. The Germans were great users of camouflage and infantry. Though a lot on the basic German infantry, actually, see, I would say, more improvised under the German Seltbahn, which is based on this tent covering. They were meant to like, put together to form a tent for a squad. But they could, you know, turn into rain punch and somebody might like, sue it into like a more proper camouflage uniform. So fun fact there. Assault action from the stormtroopers here. Light covers and no cover there. Go white fast to force the storm to retreat. The others, I think they did had a fair chance here. MD4 talking up things here. Could pop in semi armor piercing rounds for increased anti infinite damage, which is typically in my experience quite good. But there's an unstopped assault section coming up here. Unf unfortunately for Alsa, not upgrading. There go armored car, they're having to take heavy damage still. Unstoppable here. Full retreat here from Alsa the Battle through the center there as the assault section just cleaves its way through Alsa's lines. May try for another Panther Fast here. Can't stop the pack forward to fire it off here. Got the Grenadiers from the section there, pushing them back. And there you go, Panther Fast off. And knocks it out. There's a small win there for Alsa the Battle. Tactically, of course, only a brief respite as Harling will soon be pushing towards some sort of armor here. Cromwell or Centaur, and Alsa the Vile is certainly some time away from any armor himself. As you can see, aggressively here. Almost got the Morton placement too, though. That's pretty good. He just a bit more damage. That said, it does look like he might risk losing the gun here in his attempt to destroy it, which would definitely be painful there for Alsa. And great for the British. Yep, that's a white. Need to replace that losses rapidly. Schnell, even. So far, I mean, he is playing a lot of manpower. Though I can imagine, certainly, with all the stress that's going on, the fighting the British, he may not quite be paying attention to that. That can certainly happen again in these situations. But I would definitely recommend more troops here are the Stormtroopers or Panzer Grenadiers. Vickers setting up here, could pop a smoke grenade. Nebel, Kelton, Fritz. There we go. Yeah, he's learning a lot of manpower. There we go. Storm moving the Stormtroopers. I'm going to try here with a incendiary grenade. It's going to take a lot of damage, but Brisky does have the smoke grenade here to find a bit of cover, and there you go. Fun fact about the Stone Troopers, Incendiary Grenade actually does extra damage to some placements, and there you go. We do get some Panzer Grenadier, thumbs up. Smoke lifts right at the well, right time here to open up and Harling's pursuing troops. We also have the tech, they will need to build up support on support on the core after that. Section flanking up here. No insane armor piercing rounds here from outside the Val, though. Definitely think benefit just a bit from that. Ground these some point here. Machine gun routed, and we got the Panzer going to be out there, adding ambush camouflage to them as well. Very good. This is the section. Pioneer retreating. Better quiet here, but that I imagine will soon be broken. As there we go, Harling is adding in the. Mark IV cruiser tank there, the Cromwell. Panzerman Ford straight into the Vickers machine gun here. That's into one gain. Could try and pop the take in ability, which is quite good as well. But similar to how many German players ignore incendiary piercing rounds, 
take in does tend to go look by a lot of British players. Tech on the stand there. Storms with the assault section. Close one here. But in the end, assault section does overpower the stormtroopers. Ooh, machine right to the line of the machine gun there. Less great there for Ausa. Very good for Hyaling. And there goes Sorts coming up. The gun is trying to focus them down here. But I think that machine will have to retreat here. And they're going to lose as well, to be honest. Again, those Thompsons just do incredible amounts of damage. In game terms, they're basically better assault rifles in terms of the game. Actual reality, obviously not the case. But for whatever reason, when Relic added them, they kind of gave them better weapon profile than an assault rifle. So they're kind of nuts. Reinforcing healing here. Panzer there pushing forwards. Support McCart there. Let me see what ours at the valve falls up with, but I imagine it's a Panzer four here. Meanwhile, Hyling's Cromwell tank has arrived to support the front line. Straight for the western fuel pond there. Pack in the center. And Panzer four is now available here to call in for ours at the vial. Go. No surprise on that account. No surprise whatsoever. We've got 270 to 400. I mean, Harling definitely has a strong big two point lead about of the Vile here and the German army. Slow getting ready with that Panzer IV here. That said, Harling could too up with another Cromwell at this rate. Could hit by the Pack 4D on the Cromwell, punching through its frontal armor. Second shot goes through as well. The assault section as the gun leaves. We've got a white phosphorus grenade being unleashed again here upon the Germans. There's filthy hands. Panda on the east side here. we got the gun of the section there. Ultimately falls off the point here. Storms was advancing. No hold fire so they can more easily move, you know, make use of any sort of camouflage they have without getting themselves away. That is when they actually enter cover. To take a point from us. We finally got the Pantafart here for House of the Val and the German army. And another Morton place now for Hireling. Another set of artillery. Inch enough is not going for the call in artillery here, but Ryan fully on the Morton placements. Smoke grenade there. I mean, obviously nothing wrong in that, but you know, a lot of players who do go for a commander like this, the has access to the mortar team as a call, and they will rely on that over mortar emplacement, so. Bit of a side note, eh? Enemy threatening a capture point. The Cromwell found where the Panda 4 needs up with the source section of the gun that you see. You got 200 for 400. Get another Panda 4 in the section there. White or smoke landing employed by the Cromwell. Off he's getting here, out as the Vile defences. Penetrating in the Krom, Panda 4 by the Cromwell. Western field being on Northern Vicks bombing grab there by Alsa. We're going to check for the sort of the Panda 4, obliterating a good chunk of the unit there with its main gun and machine guns. Six Panda gun here for Harling in the British Army. Missing and routed. Trip reinforcing healing. Cromwell shoots, misses. Enter tank grenade damage in the Panda 4. Good hit there. Another pack hit there as well. Salt station going straight for the Pioneers. Need to fix up the Panda 4 again. Straight for the Eastern victory point. They're trying to take it. Bakers up in the Panzer gun here there. They were not able to get clipped fast enough here. But they got the MD42 coming swing to assist. Nothing further out here of Harling. Could soon go for another Cromwell. Of course, might be planning going on to go for something bigger like Comets or even Churchill tanks here. We should, of course, have to see what Harling has planned here versus Alsa. Who's back to floating a bit of manpower here. Could go for a mortar, could go for more panzer grenades, or stormtroopers, another machine gun, fuel caches. I mean, there's plenty of options if I was to consider under current circumstances. 183 versus 400. But I think something that goes a bit faster when we're best in there. Go catches a good chunk here of Harling's forces and a quick rad, almost losing the entire stormtrooper squad. There, only one man survives 
that particularly nasty encounter. North the assault section running there. Our side of the valve's going to be going straight for the fuel point there. Stug fires of the valve. Thumbs up. I think that's a very good issue. Never hirelings armor. To be good for any more tanks soon. Good hit by the six pounder gun and the panda four pioneers moving up. Center works we got the section up against the English 42 on the west side, pushing straight up for the fuel point there. Stug one third of the way here. Got 183 to find a crumbling force there, backing up the assault section. Ace level 16 kills, cutting through those Germans in a matter of seconds, leaving Arsenal without any pioneers whatsoever. Definitely a bit debilitating when he's got uh, a heavily damaged Panda 4, forced to go for another pioneer squad. Assault sec or section almost wiped out, a lot of action. West side there, we finally got here. Arsenal pushing off, hiling again. Center being seized there by the Panzer Grenadier. They're trying to hide, but they're not quite having any luck with that. Not quite having much success there. Stug 3G has arrived here at Vars of the Val in the German army. Soul 6 from forces straight into the Grenadiers, and the Stormtroopers more crucially. Go. Quite phosphorus, but not enough here to stop those stormtroopers who will quickly pursue the assault section and threaten more harm and violence. We got 162 versus 400. Panzer can be in an ambush. Stuke almost got the pinwheel machine already. Thumbs up to that. Later, Stuke 3G models would, by the way, utilize the same remotely controlled MG as the Hetzer model would. Fun fact there. He's into the center, ambush machine gun, ambush pants gun, he's ready to ambush the English. There you go, absolutely hosing them with combined fine, wiping the match for second tier, thumbs up to the ball, that was a very nice little ambush. Crumbling force against line for the pack and the Stug here, Ooh, except the pack misses, Stug of course does not. Got the northern point here, 156 was the 399. Storm saying suffers, there we go, quick sprint. Catching here, hirelings section completely off guard. There we go, popping tactical vines. Thumbs up. West side, we've got the Gunny Corp with the assault section routed. As House of the Vile, very obviously, he's not going to get his men murdered there. House of the Vile remains, I think, a bit defensive in part because, again, the pressure here of hiring, but also, like, he's got a few victory points at the moment, so unless, like, he feels very confident, he can actually, like, make a really good assault. I certainly don't blame him for not wanting to, like, get aggressive right now. I see, you know, one mistake could possibly cost them the match. That said, I feel like the time is also sort of getting to the spot where you may want to consider, like, getting a bit more aggressive. Versus... Highly. So, yep, he's going to go here for the Comet. Kind of going in for the big machine gun flank. Going to the center here, going straight hard in there. More some place blocks exposed here to follow up attack with the Stug as well there. Crump will and six coming up in the Pantaphor. Stug around the other side. That said, great again, he's being aggressive, but there's a lack of supporting for the Panda 4. No infantry, crucially, and the Stug was also a bit late to the party, costing him the Panda 4. So, in theory, nothing wrong with getting aggressive here. Again, I feel like he needs to pressure his opponent more, but again, just sending in the tanks unsupported uh, was, a th would say, a bit of a mistake. They're costing out of the value, you know, the Panda What a rather crucial time without really much to show for it either. That said, it's obviously not all over yet, but it definitely made things just a bit harder for him once more here as Harling is now able to go here for the Comet. Throws a tank. If he does decide to go for it. Gun bomb off them, removing any cover that Faust was meant to hide behind. And there he goes, Storm from top of the assault section at east level. Gun is moving up here. Hunt in 56, turn 3 and 64, and there you go. Crumb races 45 kills, half HP2. We got the pack 40, kind of ready. Got the Stug there being repaired back at base C. And we got nothing further to transcribe. We actually got heavy Panzer Corps there. Uh, possibly in plant here, but out of the Vile. We see his research tier 4. I think under current circumstances, that's probably not what he wants to go for at all. I would say there's a bit of risk there, that risk conceding too much terrain and initiative here to Hireling. We try to stall out for that, in particular with the Comet on the way here, and still a fair amount of infantry. We got 152 versus 364. 
Should do it going in here. Assault troops and they've been a We got troops around to a spot, including the Panzer and these are veterans. One good hit by the Stuart and the Crom. Got the Crom at the. Not quite yet there, actually. Section found themselves without cover there. Panzer going straight for the assault section right of them. Very good. And we got here white phosphorus grenade. For, oh, actually, a smoke grenade. Rather than white phosphorus. Found grenade there off. Oh, dear, he's not paying attention. And boom, a full wipe here. Front arms of the battle on the Highlands assault section. That is a pretty good wipe here. Particularly under current circumstances. Definitely slightly lessens the grip here. Highling has on arms of the vial. Comet out there, adding the tank commander. Ultra crucially gives us the van now the infantry leader over Hiling, though they're fairly strong. Oh, never mind, he replaced with the assault section. Panzer Air Force of the while, obviously helping you with the support weapons and whatnot, but less usefully against the Comet and Cromwell combo. Stu getting caught up in the terrain, trying to get it to reverse quickly. It, at times, you know, with some of these corners, can get stuck up, and I think he's going to have to cancel the Panzer Air after this. I mean, he could still go for it, but. I would not advise it. So that leaves uh, after the Vile there. It wants one of it a trigger spot. He's got no armor now. There's opponent with two tanks, including the Comet. It is definitely a tricky position when you're considering also the victory points here that Alsa has left. Looks like he's going to go for another Panther Pack 40 and then a Panther 4, I guess. Was he actually going to try and stall for a Panther here versus Hyerly now? Which is definitely. A bit of a uh, ambitious move here under the current circumstances. Like, you know, close to 100 victory points left. A lot of pressure there from Hyling, including, of course, he's got a Commandant and then trying to solve for a Panther. That is definitely ambitious. We'll have to see, of course, if that is what Arsene the Vile is planning to do. Meanwhile, making use of the smoke here aggressively to frustrate Arsene the Vile's defenses and negate the long ranges of his machine guns and packs here to push forwards. Very good, we got a smoke grenade here. Again, he's just further disrupting here. Any chance for Arsene the Vile to put up a cohesive defense against Hyling and the British. So, solid smoke use there by Hyling. Bringing the common engaging the Panzer gun dealer. Got the pack being hold to the front line there. We got 100 versus 364. Brings the section there. Tang into the black machine fire. We got 15 kills there. Comet shoots, misses the gun at ears. Enforcing healing. Section routed. Defending the field point narrowly there. Go pack it on the comet, pushing it back. Sneak up the eastern side. More saps and weather for Hyling. Our capture point. They're trying to take it. Sappers and weather for Harling to help repair his tanks, which it definitely need repairs. I mean, he's got two heavily damaged tanks there, so more sappers, I think, is an absolute necessity for Harling versus Ars of the Vile. Yeah, it does look like Ars of the Vile, under current circumstances, is absolutely dead set on a Panther. Definitely not what I personally recommend, but you know. I also might just be able to make it work. So it's going to be a close call. Pushing up the eastern side, can try and push for the eastern fuel point here. Try and get that away. He's destroying the entertainment there, by the way, under Harley's command. I think it's a smart move here. Almost got it, but narrowly falls a bit short here. Very narrowly. Damned enemies trying to take a point from us. Looks like he abandoned the eastern victory point capture there. Got air support called in here by Harling on the center. Northwest wants to be grabbed with the assault section. Victory point lost here. We got 52 versus 364. I mean, again, trying to stall it for Panther is pretty ambitious. You can call him now, by the way, and then definitely. Well, he can call him in a few seconds. There we go. In which case, he absolutely needs to just press that button now. No excuses. No dilly dallying. Just press the button now, sir. Press the button. Storms around the sappers there. Smoke being deployed. Bit short there. There we go. Panther pass of the ball and the 21st Panther be short. Air spot going down death from the pack. Gunners there. We got Isla and the mortar in place from there with 8 kills total. Wrecking some wreckage there to deny cover. Need to get his fuel pump back, Mr. Alza. And of course, Harling just needs to try and crash Alza there. Panther's halfway done. Stormtroopers almost wiped out here by the RAF. That is some really uncomfortable developments here for Alza. 
trying to get a storm to wipe. There we got the Panzer of the Gunners Wing trying to cover up that up, and looks like they may just succeed narrowly. Now the white phosphorus grenade. Arza's map control is looking pretty harsh here. He does have close to the pocket. The problem is, this is not a great map for close to the pocket because, like, centrally to the map is like you know, basically four very large cutoff points, making it difficult to like you know, the way the position makes it difficult to like you know, get your opponent you know, in a lot of cutoff territory. And we do have some usages beyond that, like just you know, covering all frontline sectors with mortar fire. That is typically not quite what you're looking to do with it. So, a bit of a tough spot here for, I think, Ars of the Vile. But, we do have the Panther out here, the Panzerkampfwagen 5. Gunnier's busy in the east. Section advancing on the center. Stomping forward, packed up with the 42 Get it by the Panther on the Cromwell there. Could pop it into an A grenade if you want to, I think. Got Bren guns up here firing his troops. Storm to go straight for the assault thing up close. We got another smoke grenade here. Oh, actually, Bren hunt gun out of the Vickers. Not bad. Section around these, the Bren guns also not able to avail them much against the German troops. Going to the west side, going for the anti tank guns, no armor support here, anti tank support. We do get the Panther wing out here for Ars of the Vile and the 21st Panther Detroit. Anti tank crew exterminated and destroyed here by Ars' Panther. Thumbs up to that. Troops in trouble there. Could not leave some victory point again and seize it back for the German army before Highland claims it for the British Empire once more. Panther there move, covering for or spotting, I think, the descent for the Panther here, but they're about to get murdered out. Okay, and they come there by the Panther, but needs to disengage, I think. Uh, okay, troops reinforcing healing, and that's a lot of reinforcement healing going on there for Hyalink versus Alza. We got 46, there was a 3 and 31. He needs to something, I think, a bit drastic soon before he risks just losing the match here to Hyalink. He does have a bit of a manpower flood again there. Maybe some more stormtroopers or panzer grenadiers. A mortar. Could also go for an MD-42 more. I mean, there's plenty of options here for Arsad to consider. I just think he needs to consider some soon rather than later. It's ready for the grenadiers. Need to cover with them. Our capture point. They're trying to take it. Send them being seized by the stormtroopers. Gun to use there. Moving up, machine to cover. We got the pan heading east to help deal with Hyling's Comet. Hands of effort for the Vile again. Smoke grenade hits us at the assault section from the machine gun. That is pretty clever there by Alsa. Thumbs up. Coming backing off the west side could see a bit more action, I think, here for both Alsa and Hyling. Van Hagen on the Vickers, then dying back into the smoke here. Very sneaky play, then efficient play, but there you go. Cromwell arrives here to push back the stormtroopers in the end. Panther sniping some poor bastard. Panther ever almost done. We got another comedy here for Hyling. That's going to be a tall order there for Arsenal the Mile to deal Vile, not the Mile, but the Vile to deal with this one Panther. I think that'll definitely force him to consider some stooks here. Again. Pumps of the pressing forward, straight for the center victory point. And you got 43 versus 307. Getting really close here for Ars of the Vile. Bun green off here, wiping out another assault section, leaving Harling Watts with a private infantry. Ace level Panzer is now here for Ars of the Vile. Iron Cross second class here. Troops going on the base here. Panzerwerfer is ready. Will Ars of the Vile be able to use that one to head towards Victor Brockman in the east here, almost taking out the section there. Pack 4 landing right here on the Cromlinate, halfway to the east level, could finish it off here, and there we go, knocking out Hyalink's Cromwell tank, is Comet number 2 is right around the corner, and will be a challenge here for Hyalink's, I mean, Ars of the Vile's armor to deal with, for that matter, everything else. Panzerwerfer barrage on the Vickers Moon crew there. Mostly eviscerating him, only one second survivor, and that's just a very narrow definition. I would say, almost got the comet here as well. Panthers and Pack just unleashes everything on, a lot of shots bouncing off at the comet, but even then, more went through in the end. Second comet running here for Harding, needs to fix up the first comet. He's got two sapper sections, can do it. We got 28 versus 307. Also, has very much hang here. 
by the very skin of his teeth. I'm getting him the most of placement of everything he's got here. They express, but even that, that limits how much he can absorb there. Common flanking the Panther. Quick blitz free key to ensure it doesn't get too much up and there. Go smoke the fort to once more mess here with Ars of the Val's gun lines. Thumbs up there to Harley. But in the end, it does look like the Molten placement will expire here. As Ars of the Val has had enough of that one. Understandably so. So where's the other common that is there? Waiting repairs. We got 28 versus 298. Ars of the Val. Decides to say a fairly low victory point. Kind of others managed to, I think, uh, establish himself now in a much stronger position versus Hyling and has actually managed to come back despite, I would say, a hell of a rough start. I mean, he was repeatedly pushed back to the very edge of his base there, and uh, he still managed to, like, come back several times. So, thumbs up there to House of the Vile. Some exemplary Mehrmark play. We got booby traps here in the center. Looks like he might be lining up for pushing these T. The question is how much of an assault's going to be. We got another crumb there for Harling. Got to push him back into three tanks here. As for us, the Vial, I think he's just going to have to go for Stug here. The Mal assault going off here against these some Victor Point assault section pushing forwards, backed up with the Bren gun wielding sections and the Vickers machine gun. Right into the Ace machine gun, but there you go. We do get a smoke grenade off just in time here. And. Maybe he's planning to booby trap the northern point as well. There we go. Another Panzer Barrage off here from Alsa. And we see a quick retreat. There we go. Stuka as well for Alsa the Val. Thumbs up to that. 28 is the tournament of 45. And there you go. Panzer going to flank here, leaving Hyling's position actually a bit tenuous here by this eastern victory point. The Comet was almost done. The Panzer Grenadier are right here by the Comet. Second one is our first one's actually good to go as well. And that long side of Cromwell could now lead to a possible, like, you know, aggressive armor assault. He's, especially since he also now has strafing support ready, so he could make a really strong push against Ars of the Val and maybe close out the fight. Maybe. More pioneers there for Arza. Thumbs up. Panther there gaining Red 2 Shots added. Pioneers being snapped there by the Comet. Going straight here with the Panther, straight into the Comet. Shots bouncing or missing. Stug arriving. We got 28 is to 19. Harling is feeling the pressure, but tactically seems to have been slightly grit locked there. And sort of repeating the same thing, so that trying to, like, show, say, more aggressively shake things up, at least consider a slightly different path. I mean, one option he could do is instead of going straight for the victory point like he's currently doing, he'd like try and set up for a deeper flank here. That way, sort of sneak in there and then attack from the front. You could even go for a mortar to deploy smoke, then attack head on. So I didn't feel like there's some room there for Harling to improve his tactical prowess here. Versus Arms of the Val under current circumstances. Creeping up with the pants on the East Machine Gun here. Smoke deployed again though. Thumbs up to Hyling. He's in with his armor. He's making use of the smoke. But I still feel like a mortar and flanks would serve Hyling quite a bit of good there versus Arzar. And the 21st Panzer to be shown. Rushing through though the smoke. But don't get met here by the Ace Vickers. Which is making short work of the Panzer be here. Panzer Barrage off against Hyling. Almost wiping out the machine there with the rockets. Storms was creeping back there north. I'm seeing a lot of action. Another Cromwell there for Hyling and the British Army. Also the Vial still moving ahead here. No rapid advance here, but an advance nonetheless. 28 is 150 feet. Looks like you might be seeing some of, some of a deep flank here. This could work out, perhaps. Second crumble almost down there for Harling, meanwhile. That's going to be a really deep flank. Big push for the center here by the infantry straight ahead into the machine guns to storm to the gun of the ears. That is definitely less well electric here for Harling. I also crucial to say the timing of it is also less than uh, great because the tank obviously is forgotten and there's no other support tank support either, no smoke screen or anything like that to support this attack. So he basically just threw the infantry into a meat grinder for no particular purpose, which is generally not advisable. There you go, find some more armored maneuvers. Also got the crumb up north, they're finally moving in as well here, but 
His forces again timed in such a manner. It's yeah, obviously a bit more scatter shot. We do get some other support called in here. Chrome the common knocked out here. Does get the Panther there. Panther there is half HP three. Stuke falling back here. Pax and whatnot being all to get the Panther there. But the Cromwell and the Comet. Panther coming forward here. Cromwell winging against the Stuke here. Betsons one game. The Stuke. Intense fighting. The Panther goes down. Cromwell down. There's still the other Cromwell and the Comet. The Stuke stay basically alongside the Pax. All that's keeping us and on the fight here as he is otherwise wrecking Harling's armor. Just misses the Stuke here. Turning on the Comet. Gonna be a close one there. Heat shell load in there. Go, got it. He's even using breakthrough, but they're going knocked out by the RAF still. This is course Harling. All of his armor leaving just with infantry. And crucially, Alsa has a lot of its his left, including Pentagon Leaders and Stormtroopers. There you go. A fierce fight with some really tense maneuvers and back and forth moments. Plus, crucially, just a really impressive series of comebacks here by Alsa the Vile. So, hope you enjoyed this match. You learned something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment on it. Tell a friend, tell a family. But. Don't tell enemies, and of course, consider donating to the propaganda cast or Patreon Patreon. Links in the description. This is Imperial Dane. Imperial Dane saying cheers, and see you all tomorrow for another episode. Bye.